the pros and cons of running a startup by yourself. We live in an age where it's possible to run a business all by yourself. It's all thanks to the technology that exists. Can a startup be a one-person band? It can be if you make the right moves. However, there are advantages and disadvantages to running a startup on your own. Let's take a look at the pros, then the cons. Let's get started. Our first pro is that you have complete control. Imagine having 100% control over every aspect of your startup. This means you control your own schedule. You also make the decisions and set the course for the company. The only person affected by it is yourself. With no employees, you feel like there's no worrying about a decision you can make. The second pro is that you get to keep all the profits. This means you don't have to split the money with anyone else. Sure, you do need to pay on certain expenses, but still, you keep more money to operate the business to keep for yourself. Why not enjoy the rewards, right? The third pro is that you have excellent flexibility. You can work from anywhere. You can work your own hours. This can be a huge plus if you have a family or even a full-time job. If you have flexibility in a startup, you'll be quite happy with running a setup on your own. The last pro we'll go over is faster decision-making. When faced with a decision regarding your business, you can make one quickly. You don't have to defer any decisions to other people who are part of your startup. Again, your decision will be quick to make. No need to ask other people for their input. The sooner you make the decision, the better. Now let's take a look at the cons of running a startup by yourself. First, we take a look at limited resources. Running a one-person startup will require you to use resources that will address your critical needs. You might have enough on hand. However, you might have a lack of funding, expertise, or even a large enough network. It may be hard to compete with your competitors or scale the business as a whole. A one-person startup can be scalable but there's a potential ceiling compared to what other startups may have. The second will be loneliness. We get it. It might be tough working with other people, but for some, working by themselves can get a little lonely. That's because they might not have people available to bounce ideas off of or share the workload with. So it can lead to a lack of motivation or even burnout. The next con is skill set limitation. There's so much you can do running your startup on your own. This includes developing a product or service, marketing your startup, managing the financial aspect, and so on. It's important to plan and prioritize the critical needs of running a solo startup. Try not to stretch yourself too thin. If you need to outsource certain tasks, you can do that. Finally, the last con is the limited growth potential. As mentioned earlier, Scaling can be a problem. There's a ceiling that may hinder the growth of your startup. Without other people on your team, the growth potential will be limited. Plus, you might not be able to take advantage of new opportunities or even expand quickly. So that covers it for our pros and cons for running a startup by yourself. We hope this presentation has been helpful. Thanks for listening and watching. Good luck in your startup endeavors. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.